Shalom, brothers and sisters. I didn't think I was going to come on here, but I was just in prayer, and um, I was praying over the last video that I had just uploaded over um, uh, the death of Ishmael Haniye um, in the Islamic Republic of Iran. And um, we know that him and Yahya Sinwar, they are the masterminds of October 7 massacres. And with what happened um, in the Golan Heights in Israel um, the other day when 12 children were murdered um, by Islamic terrorists, uh, we know that, um, you know, World War III is inevitable at this point. And um, I was just praying over the tweet that the Ayatollah Ali Khamenei um, uploaded on his official uh, verified Twitter X page. Um, I, I was praying over uh, the tweet um, that the Ayatollah Khamenei uh, tweeted. Uh, they want revenge over the death of Ishmael Haniye. And um, Islam, this is going to be a holy war. I know this for a fact. Um, World War III is getting ready to um, kick off um, any day, week, month now. Um, you know, and Isaiah 13, 17 through 19 judgments are just around the corner. Um, and so, yeah, Iran, uh, they want revenge, and they tweeted that. And so if you have not watched my previous video that I just uploaded, uh, please watch it, because it, it proves um, that, you know, World War III is going to kick off full scale uh, within the next coming weeks, months, I would imagine. And so I was just in prayer, and I prayed to Father Yahweh Hashem, our Savior, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, and our Comforter, the Ruach HaKadosh. And I prayed for a word um, for myself and for all of the watchers. Um, and Father Yahweh Hashem and Yehoshua, they opened me to Mark 13. And they put on my heart uh, to calculate the number of inclusive chapters um, from Matthew 25. Um, talking about the five wise virgins and the one woman bride, um, and Mark 13. Obviously, 13 plus 4 would be 17, and they put on my heart that Titus would be the 17th uh, book of the New Testament. And we know that the blessed hope of the bride um, is to go up in the first watch translation um, when Yeshua cries out to her, raise up my love, my fair one, and come away. And... Um, we know that the bride, she will see her blessed hope when uh, her beloved Ye Yeshua HaMashiach cries out to her uh, when she is removed off the planet, according to Revelation 18, uh, 23. And so, yeah, it's only a matter of time before the apocalypse unveiling of the bride takes place. And we know that scripture proves that the spirit and the bride will say, come. Um, you know, after the bride um, is removed off the planet, it's only a matter of time. Hours, maybe... <laughs> Uh, you know, only Yahweh knows how much time, because once the bride is removed off the planet, uh, the Holy Spirit will be removed off the planet. And, um, you know, once Yeshua cries out to her, uh, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away, the bride in Revelation 18, 23 will be removed off the planet. And if people are outside, they will see the apocalypse unveiling of the hidden bride. And, um, you know, um, and then after, after the apocalypse unveiling takes place, obviously, we know that he will propose to her in the night sky and then after she accepts they will kiss in the night sky and after um, after that takes place the spirit and the bride will say come to the five wise virgins of today's society and um, you know then after the first watch translation occurs um, the bride and her companions Psalm 45 14 um, you know they will be removed off the planet and then the Psalm 45 wedding ceremony will take place and then when the ceremony is finished, he will return from the wedding in the second or third watch. Um, and then the rapture will take place, um, you know, um, and that will be 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 through 18, the resurrection of Matthew 22, 30, Mark 12, 25. And then the marriage supper of the Lamb celebration will occur. And so um, I was just in prayer um, about that tweet um, that I just reported on. And uh, Yahweh and Yehoshua, they opened me to Mark 13, and they wanted me to calculate the number of inclusive chapters from Matthew um, 25 to Mark 13, and that obviously would be 17 inclusive chapters. And they reminded me that Titus is the 17th uh, book of the New Testament.
and um, to remind everybody that our blessed hope is drawing very, very near, uh, looking for that blessed hope of Titus 2.13, the 6,777th verse of the New Testament, knowing that Matthew 1.1 1, 1 is the first verse, and um, Revelation 22.21 would be the 7,957th verse of the New Testament within the KJV Bible. And so um, he wants me to go ahead and read Mark 13 and then the original parable of the ten virgins uh, from the Aramaic Bible in plain English. The Olivet Discourse, Mark 13, KJV. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Um, and that, that's the second temple that Herod built. Um, it was destroyed in 70 AD, um, the same year that Matthew's gospel uh, was mistranslated. Uh, we know that in 70 AD, the Greek translator was used by the enemy to replace the groom and the bride with the confusing term bridegroom. Okay, let me reread verse 2. And Yeshua answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved." But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains, and that's in Petra, Jordan. Um, and let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take anything out of his house. And let him that is in the field not turn back again, for to take up his garment. But woe to them that are with child, and to them uh, that give suck in those days. And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which God created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, um, no flesh should be saved. Um, but for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. Um, and then if any man shall say to you, lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is there, believe him not. Um, for false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall shew signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things." Um, the Lord's returning glory, um, Mark 13, 24. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light um, and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. 
And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, the reapers. This is when the rapture takes place, okay? And shall gather together his elect, okay? From four winds, from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. That's the established nation of Israel, brothers and sisters. <laughs> um, established May 14, 1948, the 5th of IR of 5708. And we know that 70 years, um, 70 years um, from 1948 would have been in, um, um, I'm tongue-tied. Um, yeah, that would have been in, in um, 2018, because in January of 2018, July of 2018, and January of 2019, uh, was marked by a blood moon triad, marking 70 years from 1948. And so, yeah, uh, learning the parable of the fig tree, we know it is, in fact, the established nation of Israel, established on the 5th of IR of 5708, which on the Gregorian would have been May 14, 1948, and 70 years from 1948 would have been um, 2018 and 2019. Okay, so let's continue. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. That's the apocalypse unveiling of the bride. Okay, and the rapture when he returns from the Psalm 45 wedding ceremony in the second or third watch. Okay, um, Okay, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Oh, I can't wait for that new earth. <laughs> so... Yeah, I can't wait until this corruptible flesh is like, you know, uh, <laughs> um, caught up in the air and we receive our glorified bodies. I can't wait. No help, no more health problems, no more sinus congestion, no more epilepsy. <laughs> I'm like, I can't wait. Give me my heavenly body, Adna Elohim. <laughs> um, okay. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass, till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And so we don't know if um, we don't know if he comes during the Feast of Trumpets. I never say it has to be the Feast of Trumpets, but if it is the day uh, that no man knows, um, but only the Father, um, we have to question if it is when the two witnesses spot the sliver of the new moon. You know, it could be on the 29th of Elul, it could be on the 1st of Tishri, it could be, um, yeah, we don't know. Um, and it could be on the day when they declare peace and safety. Y you never know. And so um, it's imperative to watch. It could be any day uh, that the Father chooses. And so, yeah, I, I never carve Rosh Hashanah in stone, but, you know, we're getting very, very near. And after that tweet that the Ali um, Khamenei uh, tweeted today, we know that Isaiah 13 17 through 19 judgments are just around the corner. He threatened um, a total revenge against the United States. Anthony Blinken made a statement saying that they had no uh, prior knowledge um, of, of that strike beforehand. And Israel, um, you know, Israel is getting prepared for World War III. That, that's obvious, according to the two news headlines that I posted. Um, I left them in the description box and in the pinned comment um, under the previous video that I just uploaded in recent hours. And so, yeah, we, we know that it's 
like really, really near. And so I'm going to finish this by um, reading the original parable of the Ten Virgins and um, just reminding everybody that from Matthew 25 to Mark 13, obviously it's 17 inclusive uh, chapters in the 17th book of the New Testament would be Titus. And um, we know that... um, 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 Titus 2.13 would be the 6,777th verse of the New Testament within the KJV Bible. We know that the bride, the Lamb's wife, her light will always shine in the holy city, the New Jerusalem. And we know that the five wise virgins who do go out to meet the groom and the bride, they really are the meek of Matthew 5.5. And from Matthew 5.5 to Matthew 25.7, 777 inclusive verses in the KJV Bible. They know nothing is too hard for Adonai Elohim. um, As proven in the 777th chapter, which is... Uh, Jeremiah 32, um, where it's clear, Yeremiahu made very, very clear um, in verse 17 and in verse 27, nothing is too hard for Elohim. Yeshua HaMashiach, he is the word made flesh, John 1, 14, and he will fulfill all scripture written about him, written in the law of Moses, written in the prophets, written in the Psalms concerning him. That's Luke 24, 44. Why? Because none of his words will come back to him void, um, as proven in Isaiah 55, 11. Why? Because the word of Elohim really is not bound. Um, 2 Timothy 2.9. So I'm going to finish this by reading Matthew 25.1-13 from the Aramaic Bible in plain English. Then the kingdom of heaven will be compared to ten virgins. The same took their lamps and went to meet the groom and the bride. But five of them were wise and five were foolish, and those fools took their lamps and did not take oil with them. But those wise ones took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But when the groom delayed, all of them grew tired and slept, and in the middle of the night there was an outcry, Behold, the groom has come, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. The fool said to the wise, give us some of your oil. Behold, our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered and said, why? There is not enough for us and for you. Go to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And when they went to buy, the groom came and those who were ready entered with him into the wedding place and the door was barred. But afterward, those other virgins came and they were saying, our Lord, our Lord, open to us. But he answered and said to them, amen, I say to you that I do not know you. Wake up therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. And so really, um, I can't wait, brothers and sisters. We're getting ready to fly. I can just feel it in the air. And I pray that we see our blessed hope of Titus 2.13 very, very soon. Shalom.